Hey everyone, Merrick here. We're back in the wonderful world of Beyond Soul, and it's time to continue our preparations for continuing our war against the Himalayan League monstrosity. I think the best way that we're going to do that is to continue strip stripping away Bofang's growth. Um, so, I'm not sure how to do that. I think maybe like a military station here would give me control of what? These guys around here? That might be good. I don't know. Somehow I got way too far away from my base while looking at the map. But we didn't fare amazingly well against the Himalayan League, and I didn't actually expect to. I mean, they're a massive, massive race. And, um, that's going to be a bit of a problem. You know, just a, just a small, weensy, weensy issue that we're going to have with that. So we need to to be a bigger um, issue. Yeah, that's what we need. We need to be a bigger issue for them. Uh, let's see, we have two Dreadnoughts. I guess I bought that one, which is fine. So we, we, we don't need to do any kind of like crazy upgrading or anything like that. And honestly, I don't need to take the Dreadnought out right now. I think going with a small fleet will will increase my income nicely while we fly about. I do think I want to bring out the um, the freighter. That would be good. So let's see here. I wonder if I can make any friends. Or have I just pissed everybody off a bit too much? Probably have just pissed everybody off too much. They're at peace. They're neutral. They're diplomatic. Um, they're pretty big. Weisberg is actually pretty big. They're diplomatic and peaceful. Hmm. Maybe I could get Weisberg on my side. What do you guys think? Hmm. I'd have to send them gifts. That's gonna be costly. I don't know that I want to send them gifts. Because it, it takes so much money to buy somebody's friendship, you know? Destroy you. Okay, there's that guy. Let's shoot him to death. And then R him to death. There we go. Oop. We are taking quite a bit of damage. I didn't repair my ship before I came out here, did I? No, because I'm stupid. Alright, Bofang likes us a little bit more. <laughs> Bofang, you're so stupid. But we can go right here and repair our ship. That's fantastic. And then we can uh, fly over here and do this distress signal and make the Himalayan League really confused. Because they hate us. I imagine they're going to be attacking us soon because I did piss off the biggest dick in the block and they're going to basically punish me for that. Hey, Doc. Don't just fly by there. Come on. Alright, repair the fleet. There we are. Fleet is repaired. Let's go over here. I don't know that we'll ever actually get into good relations with them. I might be able to get into good relations with Montpelier after, um... Ooh. Oh. Nobody's actually do doing any good. I really want Himalaya League to make some enemies with other people, or to get into an alliance with somebody. But I don't... I haven't been making friends. Hmm. I really should have played the diplomatic side a bit more, shouldn't I? Oh well. Maybe next time. Because I really feel like if they wanted to, they could really, really just wreck my civilization. Because I don't have a lot of, like rapid response force projection, I'm more of like, fly in there and just, you know, give you a bad day because you let me get close to you. So I think my economic situation is going to be a bit rough. Not sure what happened there, it kind of glitched out on me. Okay, that guy's done. And then... Send a missile that way, and that guy's done. Alright, there we go. 4,000 credits, and they're happier with me than they were. Maybe we could get into a military 
alliance with, with these people. They hate us way too much for that, don't they? Yeah. Negative 40 border tensions. I mean, buying our way out of that border tension is going to be a big pain in the donger. And claiming this territory is just going to cause even more and more border tension. Hmm. Can't really be helped. We'll go there instead of that battle. That'll be much more financially prudent. Huh. Who can compete with these guys, though? They're just... They don't have a lot of buildings, but they just, they're making so much money. I'm not really sure how they're making their money either. I mean, I'm making a shit ton of money too, because I don't have any fleet upkeep right now. And that might be how they're doing it, is they just garrison most of their fleet. Okay, that guy's done. Maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe we need to garrison a huge chunk of our fleet and just turtle. Okay, that guy's done. Because not having, um... Oh, come on, that was in range. Don't give me that horse shit. Okay, there's that one. You guys take care of that one. Once he dies, we'll send a drone out. Alright, we'll do that one. And see, now we're making a bunch of money, so I think, honestly, our best bet is to try to turtle up a bit. Um, just take cheap shits out. Ships, not shits. And, you know, pay the five or so hundred dollars in expenses to keep them up after, after the battles. And really only bring out the dreadnoughts when we absolutely need to just do a massive show of force and just economically grow. Like, I'd like to be able to get to level 3 um, uh, command and control center soon. I couldn't remember the name of the damn central building. Okay, there's that one gone. Two gunboats, huh? Eh, that's not going to be too great for you. There's that one. Okay, so we're doing a whole bunch of these, which is very good for us. So level 3 would be really nice. I wonder how much we need of everything. I think we need probably a bit of everything in the minimums to get that. I am still happy we took both things, Palladium Planet, by the way. I, just, I feel like that was the best choice to limiting both influence because pretty soon they're going to be rubbing against um, the Patrimony and the Himalaya League as well. And I might be able to turn the Patrimony into an ally. And that would be awesome. Okay, let's dock. Let's see what we need here. 200,000 credits is all we need. Uh, we could probably get 200,000 credits pretty quickly with the small fleet that we have out. And there's a distress signal, so we'll go do that. And jump, jump, there we go. So 200,000 credits is all we need. Mm. Once we do a couple of these extra distress signals, I'll go out and, and look at our, our resources and sell everything that I don't need to try to rush towards that, that third level of um, station because it should boost economically everything else that's going on around it. Which would be nice. And... Death has arrived. Oh, there's only two? Really? You're coming here with two? Come on, son. You don't come up into the banana slug town and, and just start a ruckus with two people. That's just how you die real quick. You're not even going to see your target. Look at you, dead. Switch targets. Get that on. Come over here. Antimatter beam to death. And there we go. Amateur hour. And jump. So yeah, I figure if, if we can hold off the Himalaya League long enough, um, 
that we could probably turtle up and surpass them economically with just what we have going to level threes on everything. And then, I don't know. Then we'll take them out. Yeah. So what are our victory conditions looking like? Nobody is anywhere in, in victory conditions. Fantastic. Um, cause I don't have the biggest fleet by, by any, any stretch of the means. Okay, so level three command center, 80, 80, 80. Uh, everything but thorium, basically. So we can sell all of the thoriums. And we gotta have 80 and everything else. Um, titanium, we don't need iridium. Oh, good. Iridium sells well. And I need 80 in there. I could sell everything there, I could sell everything there, and I could sell everything there. So I need 180,000 more. I can sell 20 of you. I can sell 100 of you. I can sell 20 of you. And there we go. So we're close. We're getting closer. We're gonna go out and make some money. Ah, oh, shit. There it is. That's what I was expecting. All right, we're gonna we're gonna stop jumping out. We're gonna dock. Come on, dock. <sighs> and we're gonna go to fleet. And we're gonna bring out you. And buy a couple more of you undock and jump out to here 36 strength fleet holy fuck my balls two of them um okay I mean there's I have to fight it I lost that titanium plant Let's let's find out where they're going. They're going there. We can we can meet up with them and probably beat them. I think we can probably take them. Oh, this is gonna suck so bad. I was so close. Oh, this is gonna cost me so much money. Two thirty strength thirty plus strength fleets against my 50 strength fleet essentially. Oh, look at them. They're melting. Oh, they are melting. No! Hold on, I'm here! That guardian needs to go get fucked. Bye bye, guardian. No, don't heal the guardian. Okay, we got one down. My shields are down. That silencer's getting fucked. Hull integrity's low. I don't even know where these shots are coming from. I'm down. Holy shit. My dreadnought's gonna get toasted too. Those silencers are so good. They're level 3 silencers. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, um... <laughs> that was quick. I mean, that's pretty much what I can do right now. Okay, dokey. So I guess we'll jump over to here. Yeah, we're we're kind of fucked. We lost another dreadnought, and um. They've got a 20% war score, which isn't that great of a war score right now. Which means this is going to go on a lot longer. Yeah, I figured they'd be coming to the military station. I wonder if I can get any fleet moved. Nope. Not going to be able to do it. 
There we are. Get that fucker. Come on. You got this. Hang in there, fellas. Oh, who the hell declared war on me? Bofang. Fuck you, Bofang. I'll wreck you in a minute. Okay. We're doing alright. Those guys are done. Fuck these level 3 silencers, man. Oh, they're going after my palladium. Go thing you were biting off way more than you can chew, buddy. Yeah, you're not getting that fleet out of there. We're gonna land. We're going to repair. And we're going to destroy Bofang. Uh, unduck. And jump! Well, at least this is going to be an exciting time in our space. I'll probably lose this Palladium and won't be able to get it back, actually. Um, I have no idea where he's going to go next. Um, the best I can do is, like, grab these little shits from here and from here and then, like, put them in here. That's, like, the most opposition I can actually put forward without, you know, relying on my little dude. Oh, and they're gonna go ranging. Son of a bitch. Don't, don't do that. Play back. So you hadn't finished that off yet? Jesus, are you even through my shields? You are, but... Come on, Bofang. Is that it? Really? Bofang. I'm gonna have to punish you. You know better than to declare war on me. You're not the Himalaya League. You can't handle this. Like, I'll surrender, wind up surrendering to the Himalayan League, I'm sure, but Bofang. No, no. Good sir. Your control center's gone. Alright, begin bombardment. Ah, uh, damn it. All right, now you guys can go out. Go, go die and distract them while I do this. So I think I really fucked up by, by challenging the Himalayan League. Kind of, I kind of feel like Bofang is a real good analog for my strategy so far. Alright, we'll accept. Let's jump there. My my fleet is being annihilated. Bofang has been shown the error of their ways. And um, we're losing a radar station. So we're going to fly into here. And see what we can do to, to prolong this, this suffering. I can't lose this military station because I will. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll accept surrender from them, or I'll surrender to them for thirty thousand dollars. It's basically the money I made from Bofang, minus a small chunk. And by small chunk, I mean large fucking chunk. Jesus Christ! But once I get to level three, this land will no longer be contested. Once I get to level three, that is. Okay, um, you know what? We're, we're just not going to rebuild there. We're going to go do this pirate bounty. Um, the Himalayan League is basically bullying us to no end. Once I get to level 3, I think we try to, try to find a way to make friends with them. As, as much as possible. Like, we, we send them money, we trade with them, we do all that good stuff. Until we can level three all of our ships. Alright, 
This guy is done. Yeah. Okay. Pirate bounty will be mine. 14,000 credits. I'll take it. Okay. So, we've got to go back home and figure out what the fuck we're going to do about this. Man. This sucks. Definitely shouldn't have pissed off the Himalaya League. They just, they're so big. They have so much money. How do they get so much money? Ah. Montpelier, they like us. They don't like us. They like us, but they don't. It's a very complicated relationship. Okay, well, we need 176,000 credits, and I'm going to get there, damn it. It's probably a fool's errand, but I'm going to do it. I can sell all of you. I can sell down to 80 on you, 80 on you. Ah, shit. Um, I could sell all of you. I can sell down to 80 on you. I could sell down to 80 on you. Still need 144,000 credits more. Basically, we're where we started. Sell, 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 sell. 168,000 credits. Let's go ahead and go into our fleet management and drop that guy off. And now we're making 7,000 credits. Fantastic. 7,000 credits is a decent amount of money. I don't know what we're going to do to manage our um, our border, basically. I honestly think that this region of space is going to be lost. This this little border area here, and that saddens me. And Bofang can just go fuck itself. I will I will wind up pushing Bofang out of this game. I think. We got a three f strength fleet. I mean, come on. You're gonna bring that weak shit to my to my parties? I don't think so. Um, I can actually sell this military station because it's not doing me any good, and reduce building upkeep because I believe military stations have pretty high building upkeep. Okay, there's a rich asteroid. No, don't follow me. Go after the gunboat. I'm out, I'm here for money. You're here for shooting. Okay, that's that's what we're all here for. There we are. And just shoot them. Shoot them till they're dead. Okay. Let's get that. And let's get. Oh, he's not dead yet. Come on. There he is. there and there look we got paid if you're getting attacked by somebody else that's that's your problem okay and we're gonna fly over to this distress signal here and make some more money so ultimately um, this little war with the Himalayan League is going to fuck us I really should stop being such a warmonger in these games, shouldn't I? Holy shit. Weisberg's control level 3? Man, I need to make some friends. Because I think that's the way to go. Rich asteroid, rich asteroid. And... Striker. That's Colonel Striker. Do, 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 do. Not enough energy. Get out there. Thorium scarcity. Alright. Come on. Kill the clippers. So yeah, ultimately, I think relying on the on the big dick isn't necessarily working out for me. I really feel like I might need a different strategy. For this better mix of ships 
All right, there's another distress signal. So apparently, you know, everybody's as distressed as I am about this. So we're gonna we're gonna go out there and and help them feel a little more relaxed. But yeah, I'm thinking about how I can contract a bit without losing all my ground. I'm not exactly sure what I can do about that. But like if I were to find a way to reduce border tensions with the Himalayan League, maybe I could figure out how to make them my friends. And that could turn into a very profitable relationship. Maybe I want to let them destroy that military station and let that territory go. But I really feel like they'll probably just jump in there and, and claim it themselves. And then, you know, basically, I'll be trying to push them back and we'll have the same fucking border tensions. And that wouldn't be great. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Come on. Hit him. Somebody hit him. Jesus. There we go. Another distress signal right next to us. Sure. And... 4,000 credits. <laughs> I don't even know if it knows that I'm here. Because I haven't gotten the call yet. There's the whoop whoop. Why are you flying through this asteroid field? There has to be a better way. Come on. There's that guy. 5,000 credits for one ship. Fantastic. I'll take it. Where's my money at? 220,000. Let's go see if this is actually the promised land that we thought it was. Himalayan League, they're economic, aren't they? God, for such economic people, they're so fucking violent. Ah, <sighs> Bofeng, I expect it to be a lot more violent, but I've just basically been wrecking them, so, I mean, there's not much they can do about that. I could go trade with them. That would make them love me. 96 fleet in reserve, 52 garrison, and 36 active. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, we need to make some sort of, like, lasting peace agreement with these guys, because we're fucked any other way it goes. Alright, fleet. Um, it's not much of a fleet left. So, all of this. 52,000 more. Sell that, and I can sell that, and I can go down to 80 on all of these. I could chase the, you know, the, the thorium shortage, damn it, and make some money off that, but I don't, I don't want to fly around to do that. So where am I going to get 20,000 more credits? Uh, can't pick on Bofang, can't really pick on anybody, I am just hurting for money. Honestly, I think Himalaya League is actually going for, um... A war score victory. Which is really rough for me because I'm their target. And and there's not much I can do about that right now. Because I am not the big dick I thought I was. Do do do. Do 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 do. I should have followed the mantra of walk softly and carry a big stick. Nothing to salvage. I really should just stop. I don't have anything attacking me. Just stop flying and click like a person. Okay. No, oh, come on. Come on. Give me the other ship. Yeah, fuck it. Pirate bounty. Distress signal. We'll go to the distress signal. Pirate bounty would probably give me the money I need, though. Hmm. Can I take the pirate bounty? Not without my dreadnought. So we'll go get the Dreadnought, we'll go handle the Distress Signal and the Pirate Bounty. Probably Pirate Bounty first, since it popped first. Yeah. 
I think that'll be good. And docking. And fleet. And there we go. Undock. So the silencers, they didn't last. I don't really know what to do for fleet strength that lasts. The 414 pop city is just way too big. So, yeah. Look at these guys. They're massive. Absolutely massive. These guys have been going to war the whole time. And they just keep getting bigger. And somehow I'm not. So, clearly I'm not playing the economic game properly. Alright. Atari Crush Skull. And you are crushed. There we go. There's 12,000 credits. So his whole crew just got wrecked. And one more drone, come on. There we go. And we'll go do this distress signal. Uh, we'll do this one here because we can get there fast enough. I think that one will probably drop out before we can get there. Yeah, that's what I suspected. So we'll do this distress signal, go back home, upgrade to level 3, and then wrap this episode up. And like shortly after starting the next episode, we will be attacked by the Himalaya League. I think it's, it's going to be attack, lose money, and ships. And then, you know, bitch about the Himalaya League. That's, that's going to be our pattern until I figure out some way of getting out from underneath the, the thumb of my mistakes. <sighs> that's going to be fun. And done. Okay, so that's 3,000 credits and merchants feel safe. Let's jump in. Okay, we're, we're not... No, we're not going. We're not doing it. You just shut it. I did not declare war on you the last couple times. I should be hating you. Of course, they're not going to be, you know, fucking asking me for an alliance. They They have me over a barrel. So... You know, there, there goes that. Okay. There we are. Let's fly into the city and do our upgrading. Boom. Control Center 3. Yay! Architect achievement unlocked. Look at it. Look at all the territory I control. And honestly, I wouldn't mind shrinking back to just that. This gives me quite the economic empire to deal with, and um, I can probably defend that for the most part. But uh, we won't be shrinking back. We're going to continue expanding and, and doing all of the things that require us to win. So let's look at the victory conditions. I am still only in the top five. Um, <laughs> I don't have 200 buildings, the most powerful fleet, or own 40% of anything. Um, they have Control Center 3, they have almost the most powerful fleet. They have the most powerful fleet, um, they have not come close to doing the others. So there we go. Um, I have no idea what to do. I don't think we're going to win this one. But... We may, we may. If you guys have any strategies, let me know. If you enjoyed this and you, you know, want to show your support, click that good old like button. And if you have any, of course, advice, I'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed, consider clicking that good old subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when I get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you next time. There. So let's see, if I were to upgrade you... You would give me coverage here. That's not super beneficial to me, actually.